Okay, so continuing with our word problems involving inscribed angles, we have here our second problem. So Marvin wants to place his quadrilateral shaped cake that he baked on a circular container. The four-sided cake has vertices C, O, R, E. So what are the values of angle H and angle J shown on the figure and arcs O, R and E, R, okay. Uh, which is represented by angles M and K, respectively. And la lastly, what is the measurement of <clears throat> arc ECO? Okay, so for this problem, guys, we need to solve for the value first of angle H, okay, or, or of arc, yeah, of angle H, okay, H degrees and J degrees. So to do that, we use the second corollary, okay, regarding the chords of, of an inscribed angle, uh, okay, Chords, okay, what do you call that? The inscribed angle theorem for chords, okay, for uh, for a quadrilateral that's been inscribed in a circle. So what does the corollary say? So it says that the opposite angles, okay, so these angles right here, let's use black. Okay, so these angles right here, H and 98 degrees, they are supplementary. Okay, so that means their measurement is equal to 180 degrees when you add them. Okay, so therefore, to get the measurement of H, okay, so therefore, uh, angle H, okay, angle H is simply equal to, okay, 180 minus 98 degrees. And it also goes the same for J, but for J, it's 104, okay, so 180 minus 104 degrees. And from here, guys, we can now solve for the value of H and J. Okay, so using a calculator, we can solve for the value of angle H. We have here 180 minus 98. So we're going to get 82 degrees. Okay, so H is equal to, okay, H degrees is equal to 82 degrees. And J is going to be 180 minus 104. Okay, so that's going to be 76 degrees. Okay, so we got our two values here. Okay, so let's try to mark that. Okay, let's try to mark those ones. Okay, so we have your 82, and this one is 76. To get the measurement of, okay, to get the measurement of, hmm, of this one, of let's say EO. Okay, so to get the measurement of EO, we need to multiply this one to 2, right? Okay, so um, to get the measurement of, okay, measurement of arc ECO, we have to multiply angle R two, so that's going to be two times ninety-eight. Okay, so measure of angle R, so that's going to be ninety-eight times two. Okay, so that's one hundred ninety-six. This is the measurement of, okay, of measurement of arc ECO. Okay, one hundred ninety-six degrees. Now, okay, we're given that CE. The measurement of arc CE is equal to 106 degrees. Therefore, we just simply minus that uh, the measure to get the measurement of arc CO. Okay, so to get the measurement of arc CO, we have to minus the measurement of arc ECO and also the measure of arc CE. So that's going to give us 196 minus CE, which is 106. Okay, so 196 minus 106, that's going to give us 90. So therefore, the value of arc CO is equal to 90. Okay, so let's write that here. Okay, so we have here a 90. Okay, so to get uh, the measurement of arc ERO. Okay, so let's get the measurement of arc e ERO. Okay, so arc ERO. Okay, to get the measurement of arc ERO. Okay, measurement of R E R O. So we know that angle H, okay, the subtended angle is equal to 82. Okay, so let's write that here. Okay, e R O is equal to 2 times the measurement of angle H, which is, which is 2 times 82. Okay, and 82 times 2, so that's going to give you 164. So that's the measurement of angle of R E R. 164 degrees. Okay, so we have solved for the measurement of of arc. Okay, of arc uh, ECO. So it's 196 degrees. We found the value of angle H, the value of angle J. We just need to find the measurement of OR 
and ER. Okay, so to get that, okay, so we have here. Okay, so we can get the value of ER here or, ang of ang or angle K by multiplying this 104 by 2. Okay, so this is going to give us the measurement of ER okay, is equal to 2 times the measurement of angle O. So it's going to give us 2 times 104. So that's going to give us 208. And then we know the measurement of CE. Okay, to get them, okay, so 104, so this is the measurement of CR, I'm sorry, so this should be CR. Okay, so the measurement of arc CR is 208. Okay, so to get the measurement of uh, ER, so that's going to give us measurement of arc ER is going to be equal to the measurement of arc CER, okay, CER minus the measurement of arc CE, okay, measurement of arc CE. And CER is equal to, again, 208. Okay, so this is CER. Okay, and 208 minus 106. Okay, so 208 minus 106. So that's going to give us 102 degrees. So therefore, this is the measurement of angle K. Okay, so this angle K. And also, this is the measurement of ER. It's equal to 106 degrees. So how about... Hmm, how about OR? So to get OR, we need to just add all of the measurements that we have here. So we have here 90, 106, and 102. Then we, uh, then we add those three. Then we, then we minus that or subtract that from 360 to get the measurement of arc OR. So to get the measurement of arc OR, okay, so to get that, we have to minus, okay, the sum of nine of the three arcs that's 90 plus 106 plus 102 to 360 so we have to minus that 360 okay minus 90 plus 106 plus 102 so we're going to get the measurement of arc or okay so to get to get okay so we're going to get the measurement of arc or is equal to 62 degrees so therefore, we have here our five, five answers. Angle H is equal to 82 degrees. Angle J is equal to 76 degrees. OR is equal to 62 degrees. ER is equal to 102 degrees. And ECO is equal to 196 degrees. Just using the uh, properties of inscribed angles, subtended angles, and intercepted arcs. Okay, so for this third word problem, we have here uh, Bigwas built a boomerang that he nicknamed PLOS. The vertices of the boomerang are shown on the figure on the right. Okay, so this figure. So, okay, he inscribed the said boomerang perfectly on a circular container. Okay, and he only knows that the measurement of angle O is equal to 42 degrees and the measurement of angle L is equal to 54 degrees. So given that point S is the center of circle S and the segment can be constructed from points O and P, what is the measurement of angle OPL? Okay guys, so for this problem, okay, we have here this figure and from this figure, we're going to try to name the sides that we want. Okay, so let's try to name them. Okay, so this one is it's going to be replaced by this figure. We essentially want to get the measurement of angle OPL. Okay, so that will be the sum of A. Okay, so that will be the sum of A and X. Okay, so you want to get the measurement of these two angles right here. So how do we do that? We do that by using the um, inscribed angle theorems, the theorems about inscribed angles and also subtended angles and words. Okay, so the first thing that we can do here, okay, we can try to create, okay, find, uh, we can try to name the angles that we have here. So we're going from this figure, okay, so from this figure, guys, okay, we're going to draw, okay, so let's draw, okay, so let's draw, okay, let's Let's draw. Okay, let's draw a line connecting O and P. Okay, so if we connect O and P, we will have created a triangle, triangle OLP. 
and then let's put a value here that's going to be x this is going to be x and let's name this a so therefore we have here this angle right we, we have there this figure and we can replace that figure by this one okay a much bigger figure and much clearer okay so to get the measurement of s okay so we can say that the central angle is always twice the subtended angle that we have here so if we have here 54 degrees then this is going to be 108 degrees okay and also of course this one okay, is going to be equal to 108 degrees okay so what are what are the other things that we can observe okay so we have here two angles x and x so both of these angles are the same okay since they are both x their values are both x so therefore since they are both the same uh, therefore we will have created an isosceles triangle right here because how are they the same how do we know that they are the same because we have here this side and this side and we know that the radius of a triangle are all congruent to each other so sp is congruent to op therefore we will have created an isosceles triangle and therefore we will have created two angles that are congruent to each other so those are angles uh, sop and angle spo so therefore this is 108, 108 degrees to get the value of angle x okay, we simply have 2 minus 180 degrees the total interior angle measurement of a triangle to 2x okay so there you go we just added those two okay so that's going to give us okay so the total interior angle measurement of a triangle is equal to 180 degrees is equal to 108 plus x plus x okay so that's going to be equals to 180 which is 108 plus 2x okay so 180 is equal to uh is uh, equal to uh i'm sorry 180 minus 108 is equal to 2x and 2x is equal to 180 minus 108 so that's 72 okay so if we divide both sides by 2 Divide, dividing both sides by 2 so therefore we get 72 divided by 2 so that's 36 okay so we have already solved for the value of x so it's equal to 36 so that only leaves us with this angle right here angle a so how do we know okay how do we get the measurement of angle a so since we know that this one okay 42 plus x we know that this one is 36 degrees so what's 42 plus 36 42 plus 36 so that's 78 so therefore angle o is equal to 78 and to get lp so 78 times 2 so this is 156 degrees okay so if we have here 156 degrees and we, when we have here 108 degrees so we can solve for the measurement of arc ol by adding the measurement of arc op okay arc op plus the measurement of arc lp and then subtracting that from 360 degrees which is the total angle measurement of all of the arcs on a circle okay so that's going to be 360 minus op is op is 108 plus lp which is 156 so this is going to give us okay 360 minus okay 108 plus 156 so that's going to give us 264 360 minus 264 so that's going to give us 96 so the measurement of arc ol is 96 degrees so therefore if this is 96 degrees therefore angle p should be 96 divided by 2 okay so the measurement of angle P should be one half of the measurement of arc OL. So if we have here angle P, okay, so the measurement of angle P is going to be 96 over 2. Okay, and 96 divided by 2 is simply equal to 48. So therefore, the measurement of angle P is equal to 48 degrees. But, okay, we need to solve for the value of A. So 48 minus 36, okay. So to get the measurement of A, A is equal to 48 minus 36, so that's going to be equal to 12. So A is equal to 12 degrees. And there you go. So you have X is equal to 36, A is equal to 12, and the measurement of angle P or angle OPL is 48 degrees.
properties. And that's our third problem for inscribing.